What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey. So today I just needed to get a few things done around the kitchen. I am making medicine for my family today because cold and flu season is going to be soon enough upon us and I am running extremely low on fire cider. At this point, this is all that I have left in my arsenal. So I wanted to grab some things and it took me a little bit of like hunting, if I'm being honest, to get all of these things together. The main thing that I was really struggling to find was horseradish. Um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe the supply is low. I don't know, but that was really, really a struggle. But I went on ahead, gathered everything that I need. I have a big jar here that we will be using to pack everything into. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and get this thing going. Alright, so at this point I went on ahead and put all of my basics in. You've seen me layer in a few different types of citrus, some herbs, some peppers, garlic, onion, uh, horseradish, turmeric, and ginger. So now at this point I just wanted to add in a few additional things that I haven't always added in. Um, dandelion root is something that I've added in, I mean, the past two years that I've been making this. So I like to put in a little bit of that. Um, I want to try putting in some anise here. I'm just gonna put maybe about three of those because it's pretty strong. Some cloves. I just want to add a little bit more like depth of flavor to this just so it's not so like just pungent and spicy so the clove and the anise is mostly for that the dandelion root is obviously for its benefits and then i have elder flower here and then i also want to add in some elderberries and this is some leftover elderberry from some that I purchased dehydrated. Uh, I think that should be fine. I also make an el elderberry syrup and I will be sharing that on the page really soon as well. But from here, I'm just gonna shake everything down. I could do some peppercorns, but I think I don't wanna make this batch as spicy um, as I did my last batch. So now I typically use Bragg's, but Bragg's is like really, really expensive right now. And this is something that I found. It is organic, but it is apple cider, excuse me, apple cider vinegar with the mother. You have to make sure that you use vinegar with the mother. Otherwise you're not getting all of that good bacteria that you need up in chill. And I have little missing piece here. So basically you just want to cover this all the way up. I'm actually going to pop this little 
these off here because I will probably use this entire jar. Something told me to get more, but I think I should be good. There we go. I got milk. Thank God. Perfect. All right, so at this point, I am going to date the top of this jar and I'm gonna allow this to sit for at least six weeks or so. Um, I think that's just barely on time to like allow this to last me. Luckily, not a lot of my family can even handle taking like, you know, little tiny shots of this at a time. So I'm hoping that we will be good until this is ready. But I just wanted to show you guys what differently I am adding into my fire cider. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you hit it with a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Stay tuned. Be on the lookout for my elderberry syrup. And until the next time, I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. Peace out.